All right, so here we are. We've got a grudge match between Amir Rahimi, an assistant producer, and Harvard Bonin, some of you might know as a senior producer on the project. Harvard's playing Mordor, Amir's playing Gondor, and here we go. Okay, so we can see Amir here, turtled up inside his base, as a good Gondor player knows to do, but Harvard lays the smack down right away, drops the Eye of Sauron on him, just saying, I see you. Telling Amir, I've got, you know, I can see inside your base, I can scare your guys, and here I am. For all those of you who've been wondering about Gollum, here he is. He's a spy, he sneaks around. Harvard's got him going in the castle there just to hassle him more. Just to cause him a little trouble, a little distraction. Of course, Amir wants to take him out because, uh, you know, Harvard's now able to see into his base. But of course, Harvard doesn't let him rest when he's t after he's taken out Gollum. He goes ahead and hits him with the catapult there. So you can see the trolls rolling the siege tower up to the wall. You know, one of the things is when you're going against Gondor players, you have to be able to siege your castle well. You gotta take out the walls, break down the gates, just get your guys in one way or another. It's quite a scary sight when you see a whole set of orcs pouring over your walls and into your castle. My favorite strategy is just to kind of uh, overwhelm my opponent. Um, they have something called Call the Horde, which is one of the, the uh, special abilities that Mor uh, Mordor uses when it's kind of high on their, I guess you'd call it a tech tree, but uh, it just churns out the orcs, one after the other after the other, and it's cool because, you know, you're just when you think your back's on against the wall and you run out of money or something like that, you send all these orcs and uh, it just overwhelms the opponent. It's just uh, a lot of fun. All right, see, so all the orcs are pouring over the castle wall. Now, of course, and they're smart. You think all might be lost, of course, but there's Gandalf running around there. You know, when Gandalf gets into the fight, watch out. Bang, there's a blast. It clears all the orcs out, and he's safe again. Well, see, Harvard um, has this ego and this air about him, about being this hardcore RTS guy, but uh, I think he's going to come into this game and completely underestimate him. Right, so Harvard's got all of his troops ready. I think he's going to try to do a big push into the base. Let's watch what happens. No, oh, looks like Amir left his gate open. Now this is one of the coolest things about the game, tainted land there. Harvard goes ahead and lays that down, it changes the terrain. It gives his orcs not only extra strength, but extra combat ability as well. So he go, he's going ahead and taking on those tower guards. They know they can't handle it. They're getting hit with orcs, they're getting hit with catapults there, so they start fleeing back into the gate. What happens when Tree Reared fights a troll? And here we go. Now that punch right there we call the Captain Kirk double-handed punch. And this is my favorite move of all right there, kicking the troll right in the face. Dang, so Tree Reared won there. Harvard wasn't able to get onto the wall by pushing a siege tower up there, so he's going to try to break down the main gate with the battering ram. Here he goes. Bang, knocks it through. One-two punch, because here comes the Nazgul. The Nazgul's great, because when you get them over the enemy troops, you do the screech and it scares them all, disrupts them. Makes it a little harder for the archers to get a bead on it. Now also he goes ahead and just picks up guys, which causes tremendous amount of damage. And of course, what's your counter? Gandalf Astari Light. Takes him right out. Pops him. Here's a Mama Kill pen. Harvard's going to generate a Mama Kill to try to use to help siege the castle. Get my Mama Kill. Oh. So Amir's called into a room of hearing reinforcements here. Those are one of the powers that he has. Of course, they don't do too well against the Mama Kill, especially when they're continually shelled by catapults as well. Just squashed flat. I don't know if that's for you, but are you playing? I mean, I got my Mama Kill waiting for you over there. You just accumulated So since the Rohirrim didn't work, Amir's notched it up another level, used another power, and called in the Army of the Dead. You know, it's just so fun to watch these guys take out the enemy.
all right so you think harvard might be down but he's not out of course what's he gonna pull out there comes a bell rock so if you were scared when a Nazgul came into your base you gotta be double scared when the Balrog shows up so the Balrog doesn't only have his sword that he can use of course he's got the whip he's got the fire breath just the ultimate wrecking machine bang hits the guy with the sword now one of the things I absolutely love is when he does his fire breath you know the effect is cool but the damage is devastating You can see Amir's archers there just firing away, trying to take out the Balrog. Nothing's really helping. <laughs> Amir's last building has been destroyed. His whole castle sinks back into the ground and you're left with the ruin. But of course, who do you bring in when you got a Balrog in your base? you got to bring in the big guns. Here comes Gandalf. He hits him with the lightning bolt takes him out. Now watch the ground here after the Balrog burns up and goes away. Look at that charred mark there. It's another example of the attention to detail that's inside Battle from Middle Earth here. Alright, so it looks like Amir's there survived. His base is wiped out. He's going off to hunt Harvard's base there. And there you go. I don't know. I kind of call it a draw. Gotcha. So don't forget, you'd be scared too if you saw a troll coming at you with a 12-foot tree.